up to? What are you doing? Um, guys. Where are we going to go? Uh, the park. Are we going to go to the park? Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that, but uh, we, we're going to go to a friend's house today. Wait, wait, I hold it. <laughs> Can you say hi? Say hi. I hold it. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> It's like 8.30. <laughs> you slept in. Good morning. We, I'm going to be tidying up some stuff with the kids. Um, and then we're getting ready to go to a friend's house this morning because I get to go take my glucose test today. So, yay, that'll be so much fun. Um, who loves taking the glucose test? <laughs> But for real, to be honest, the glucose test for me isn't that bad. Like, I don't feel like I need to throw up when I'm drinking it. It's just like, it's kind of like an orange soda to me. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe they've improved the flavors over time. Um, but I just get like, I ch always choose the orange kind. And I don't think it's that bad. So I'm hoping that today goes well with my glucose test and that I don't like throw up or gag on it and that I pass the one hour glucose test so that I don't have to take the like three hour one um, because that would not be fun at all. <laughs> Let me know if you have what you feel about the glucose test and if you have passed the one hour one or if you've ever had to do the like two to three hour two to three hour test anyways we got to get ready um hopefully hopefully we'll have some time to tidy up a little bit and then we are going to be heading out the door so it'll be a fun busy day here we go I know. And like, I saw friends having it at my school, and I was begging to have it. And they, what is it? Oh, uh, it's a type of pizza, but different. It looks like that. Oh my goodness! And Camden got the cheese and crackers one. Yeah, we we. So we never get lunchables. So this is like a major major treat for the kids. Until Halloween? Yeah, 20. <laughs> wait, wait. We always do all the Halloween no. treats uh, out. Can we get some Skittles? Okay, so I am going to drop the kids off at a friend's house while I go to my glucose well, test. So, some got some snacks for, for them. Halloween. We got the healthy snacks, and then we've got can the, um, the less sugar. healthy snack, but they're excited about it. Special treat. test and this room is like the cutest room it's like a candy shop so cute all right all done got finished up at the doctor's office they took some of my blood after my um glucose drink thing um and the drink wasn't bad at all like it really wasn't um I got a little bit queasy when they were taking my blood because the lady was like she was super nice um but she was pretty quiet like usually um 
the phlebotomist, I think that's what they're called, they will, like, talk to you a lot and, um, you know, try to distract you from what's going on. And, um, so she wasn't talking too much. Uh, and so I was just, like, watching all, like, I was watching her fill up all the vials with my blood. And I was like, have you ever had anyone, like, faint while you're taking blood? And she's like, oh yeah. She's like, mostly guys. <laughs> so I thought that was really funny. Um, but yeah, so I got a little bit queasy when she was taking my blood and I was like, <sighs> deep breaths. <laughs> but we're all done. I'm all done. And now I'm going to go pick up my kids and I'm going to eat some carbs because I stayed away from carbs this morning so that my glucose test was more accurate or whatever. So I'm gonna go get the kiddos and um we might do quiet time or maybe go to the park. I don't know. I don't know. I just kind of like play things by ear and just go with the flow. <laughs> you know? Show me your flossing. Oh. <laughs> no. <gasps> oh my goodness. Floss those teeth. Are we getting ready for bed? No. Yeah. Oh. We're flossing our teeth and then we're gonna put on PJs. Right? And have some cuddle time. Whew, I am feeling tired. <laughs> it's been a long day and I'm feeling so big. I am 27 weeks today. So definitely, baby is definitely getting big. Um, and I'm feeling her move a lot, which is really fun. And I feel pretty good. Oh yeah? I hear like it's like there are like monsters in there. I'm kind of scared to go in there. <laughs> we are going to sing some songs and um, get those kids in bed and then I'm going to get to work and then I think I'm gonna film a clean with me tonight because the house really needs a good cleaning. Um, so probably we'll do that tonight. But anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. Hey guys, can you say goodnight? Good night. Good night. Say goodnight. See you later. See you stupid. Say, no. Say see you tomorrow.
Good night, guys. Bye. Okay. Actually, I lied about ending the vlog. I just quickly wanted to share um, an incident with you guys that happened at the park. Um, and this message, it's kind of for all moms, but especially for moms who have very strong-willed children. Um, my four-year-old son is extremely, extremely strong-willed and he gets very intense emotionally and um, he, he was exhausted when we went to the park tonight and it's a lot harder for him to control his emotions when he is tired. So he had a lot of um, meltdowns and got upset a lot and um, there was a time tonight at the park where he like he was offended by another kid was like sticking their tongue out at him or like they were playing with sand or something and Camden got really upset and like threw sand at him and tried to knock him over and like hit him and um was just gonna like beat this kid up so I ran over and I grabbed him and um took him away from the situation sat down with him on on a park bench and like I was trying to be calm myself because as a mom it's very flustering and upsetting to see your child like attack another child um and so I was just holding him on the bench and he was fighting me and and wiggling around and saying he wanted to go back and play and didn't want me to hold him and I just held him I held him tight and I was just talking to him and trying to stay calm myself and think how do I how do I talk to him about this right now um, it's <laughs> It's really hard to think of what to say when you're in the heat of the moment. And so we just sat there and I told him, you know, take some deep breaths. So he took some deep breaths, kind of started calming down, was still a little wiggly. Um, but I was just like, hey, like, it's okay to be upset. If you are upset, then sometimes it is best just to leave the situation Okay, if he does something you don't like, you can say, hey, I don't like when you do that, and you can leave. Um, but I just tried to validate his feelings and be like, you know, I know you're upset. I can see you're upset. Like, were you, were you angry? Were you frustrated with that kid? And he was like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you know, sometimes other people are going to make you frustrated. And they're going to do things that you don't like. And it's okay to feel frustrated and to tell them that you don't like when they do something. But here's how you handle it. And, um, and I just held him and told him that I loved him. Um, that I loved him very, very much. And um, I just want him to know that I'm going to be there for him. I'm going to help him through his, you know, his strong-willed moments when it's hard for him to control himself. Um, and I was listening to a podcast where um, the, the mom that they were interviewing was talking about her strong-willed child and how she just wondered, like, why did God send this child to me? Like, I cannot handle this. I can't deal with this. Like these things that happen with um, Camden, like at the park and being kind of physically aggressive, it happens fairly often. Um, he's extremely strong-willed, and um, some days I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what to do with him. Um, like why, why? 
God, why did you send him to me? And in this podcast, the mom was asking the same question and just praying. And um, she said that the answer that she felt in her heart from, from God, the answer that she got was, you are so lucky to have this strong-willed boy as your son. He is going to do amazing things and um, will be such a blessing to you or something like that. And, excuse me, that just really hit my heart because I have wondered so many times that same thing. Like, why, why do I have such a strong-willed child that I don't know how to handle and and um and I think I just realized like God knows what he's doing and he sent Camden to me for a reason and um Camden is such a blessing to my life but and he's going to do great things and um anyways <sighs> rant over, story over, but um, I just, I want you other moms to know um, on those difficult days where your kids just aren't listening and, or you have like a super strong-willed child or one who has special needs or whatever um, your challenge may be, that you have that child for a reason and we may not see it now or understand it now, but if we just rely on God and pray to understand that child, that we will be able to handle um, anything that uh, that gets thrown at us. And um, God will help us through motherhood. Um, it's such an important job, and God knows that, and he wants to help us. So that is my little um, message to you tonight as I end this vlog for real. <laughs> Anyways, you moms are amazing and we are doing great things and we're not alone. We have each other um, and we have, we have God on our side to help us as well. So anyways, I hope you have an awesome night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.